In this video, we will review how to customize options and views for documents. To change the document views, you can use the icons on the status bar. You can also click the View tab and notice the options that you have available in the Views group. Also notice options available in the Show group. To use Zoom, you can use options in the Zoom group on the View tab, for example, you can change it to 100%, you can view multiple pages, take it back to 100%, or if you need a, a custom zoom percentage, you can click the zoom button and then choose the percentage. You can also use the zoom slider in the status bar. To customize the quick access toolbar, you can click the drop down arrow on the quick access toolbar, click on more commands, and then if you are asked to add commands to the Quick Access Toolbar, you can click the drop down arrow for choosing commands. And if you don't know which group the commands are in, you can choose all commands so that you can see a complete listing of commands and notice that they're sorted alphabetically. And then you could click on the appropriate option and click add to add it to the Quick Access Toolbar and then click OK. To customize the ribbon, you click the File tab, click Options, and then click Customize Ribbon on the left. Your options for the ribbon are here. You can see that all of the tabs are turned on. Uh, check yours. Your Developer tab may be off and you will need that uh, for more advanced options. You can add a new tab simply by clicking New Tab, and then you can click on it. You can click Rename, and then click OK. And then you can add groups to your tab as well. And we'll just rename the first group. We'll call it Group 1, and then click OK. Notice that you can reset customizations. You can also import and export customizations which would be very helpful if you were switching computers or if you had you know performed a clean installation of Office and then you would want to import all of those customizations so that you wouldn't have to set those up again. When finished customizing the ribbon click OK. To split the window, click the View tab and then click the Split button in the Window group. To remove the split, click on Remove Split. To add values to document properties, click on the File tab, click Info if necessary, and then notice that the properties are down the right side of the screen. You can click on a property and add the appropriate information. Notice that you can show all properties here or you can click on Properties and then click on Advanced Properties. When you finish adding information to the properties, click OK and then click the Back button to return to the document. To use the Show Hide button, click on the Home tab, find the Paragraph group and then click on the Show Hide button. This will show you the non-printing characters such as the little arrows indicating a tab, or the paragraph symbols. Click Show Hide again to remove the non-printing characters. To record a simple macro, carefully plan the steps. Practice the steps so that you can go through them fluently when you record. When you are ready to record, click the Developer tab move to the code group and click on record macro. Enter a name for the macro. Choose a storage location and then enter a description. Click OK and this will begin recording your macro. For this example we are simply going to return to the very top of the document and assign a different heading 
style for the title of this document. And we'll just choose title. That's all I wanted to do, so I'll click on stop in the status bar. Click the developer tab, then click macros, and click on the macro name and click edit to ensure that it did record the steps. And you can see here that it returns us to the top of the document and then it applies the title style. Simply close VBA. Now to assign a shortcut key to the macro, click the file tab, click options, click customize ribbon, and then click on the customize button for the keyboard shortcuts. Choose the macro category, and then click on the macro name. To assign a shortcut key, Press the keys that you wish to use. Let's try control key and five key for this example. And you can see that it's currently assigned to something. So we need to try a different shortcut key. Let's try control and then seven. And that is currently assigned to test macro three. So we can hopefully overwrite those settings by clicking assign. So now let's put in control 7 again and you can see that it did assign it to test macro 4 which is the desired result. So we can click close and then click OK. And lastly to manage macro security you click on the developer tab, return to the code group and click on macro security. And here you can see the different settings available for macros and you can also set developer macro settings. I would also recommend reviewing the other items in the Trust Center just in case you are asked about those on the test. When you have finished making Trust Center adjustments, click OK. And this concludes the review for customizing options and views for documents.